I'm Brian Van from SportBikeTrackGear.com, and today we're going to do a video review on the brand new Alpine Stars Racing Replica One Piece Suit. We'll start off by saying this suit is compatible with the Tech Air airbag system that is not yet on the market. We anticipate it will be available in 2012, and we also anticipate that we will be offering that and be able to help facilitate that. The good news is. This suit is fine without it and can accept it without a problem. Okay, so you're, you're future proofed as far as that goes. If you need a suit now and you think you want the airbag, you can get the suit now and get the airbag when it's available. Let's start off with a note on sizing. I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall. I am just over 200 pounds with a somewhat athletic build. I'm wearing a size 54 Euro or 44 US in the all new racing replica suit. Underneath the suit I have on my Alpine Stars Tech Race one piece base layer and I also have on the included back protector. This suit comes with both a back protector and standalone chest cards. Those are two nice value adds with it. Front view and we're going to get into riding position. Side view, get down into position. Plenty of mobility feels phenomenal. And we'll do the same in the back. The reality is this is the best race suit available today, period. Okay? I can say that from personal experience, I have its predecessor made from the same materials, very similar suit. I've crashed in it I've raced with folks who crashed in theirs multiple times. These things hold up like Sherman battle tanks, okay? Very durable. Beyond that, they've taken everything they've learned in racing and they've applied it to the suit. And that isn't just how to make a suit crash get great. That is how to make a suit easy to ride in. That is the real secret of a true high-end suit. When you wear this protective apparel, you have to burn energy compensating for the fact that you're wearing it, okay? As we get up to these higher levels, okay, north of $2,000, what you're getting is you're getting a fit pattern that has been refined over and over and over at the highest levels of racing until it arrives at a point where you expend the least amount of energy possible to compensate for the fact you're wearing the suit. So you can reserve that energy to ride and ride well. That being said, this thing also has the ability to protect you at a level that the ordinary suits really can't compete with. That's a combination of the materials used. The leather on this suit is some ultra high quality, high density stuff. Like I said, I fell in mine at Barber, the place a cheese grater. I fell dead on the inside of the corner, slipped all the way off the racetrack. Over 45 feet wide, I was on an angle, right? I wiped the thing off with brake cleaner, put a little bit of mink oil on it. You could barely even tell that I fell down. That was impressive. It's not the first time I've fallen at that track. It's not the first suit that I've fallen in. And I can tell you this, that one held up better than all the rest. And that's saying something because I've ridden in a lot of great product over the years. Like I said, this suit will accept the Tech Race air system when it's ready. If you want to zoom in right here, Frank, this is actually going to hold some indicator lights once that system is installed. So that is realistically one of the only changes is, is that, right? It's the only thing that will be different is the lights will be lighting up. Beyond that, the whole system is integral to the suit. You can see this motion panel right here across the shoulder and then all the way up to the neck. Those have been added to this suit for two reasons. One is it makes the suit easier to ride in. Two, they need to be there when the airbag ignites, goes off, those motion panels allow the expansion so the airbag can inflate. It's all integral to the suit. There's a demo somewhere on YouTube. We anticipate being able to do a demo for you here at some point just as this comes to market. Okay, and, and we'll give you a very high level view of how it works, why it works, so on and so forth in the suit. All that being said, I can do this suit a lot more justice after taking it off and to give you a very high level look from the inside out. Totally disassemble it. We're going to look at the armor. We're going to look at all the different motion panels in the suit and talk about what makes this the best suit available today. I'm Brian Van. Stay tuned for part two.
All right, here we go. A real high-level look from the inside out of the all-new Alpine Stars Racing Replica Leather Suit. The armor that comes in it, it comes with the foam padding in the chest. It's easily and affordably upgraded to the Bionic chest armor, hard outer GP shell. It has channeling and perforation to preserve the air airflow provided by the perforation, energy absorbing foam from the backside. Remember, this suit also comes with now, right, the chest protector. This is a value add that is thrown in with the suit. It's perforated. It's got a washable outer cover that's easily removable. The inside of it has kind of a 3D layer, and there is also a tacky strip to help hold this in place when you have it in the suit and you zip it up. Also included is the Alpine Stars Bionic Back Protector CE Level 2 certified. Snap attachment here at the top, hard outer shell. Come around to the front, we've got the waist strap, energy absorbing foam, some channeling to preserve airflow and cooling. The race hump on the suit is removable, okay? It's channeled, provides airflow. Remember, this suit also accepts the airbag, the tech air system, if you choose to make that upgrade. It's sweet that it has that compatibility built in. Some people just want the best racing suit available. You can get that. Some people not only want the best racing suit available, but they also are going to desire that technology the airbag offers. You can have the same suit and go either way, with or without the airbag. Your choice. Elbow protector. Hard outer GP shell. Energy absorbing foam on the inside. We've seen them use this for a long time. It's a very good piece. New for this year, we're using the bio armor in the shoulders. Low profile, very protective, perforated to maintain airflow and cooling. In the knee, we're using a new one-piece design here. It's got a large knee cup. It's got kind of a medium density outer shell, lots of energy absorbing foam. This is a highly protective CE certified knee protector. Remember, in the shoulder, elbow, and of course in the knee, there are external protectors on the suit. So it's kind of a composite deal that you really have there. These things all come together to offer a very high level of protection. The suit from the liner is removable, and this is different than we've seen from them, okay, and I'll show you how. One of the things that I noticed on it that I really like is they've added, added some, God, this is some high density energy absorbing foam, and if you look, this is all in the back, and it kind of occupies the area that normally would not be covered by the back protector. Really amps up the protection in that area. Great add. Same type of foam is used here in the hip and kind of quad area. What they've done with this liner that differs from its predecessor, two things. One, they've really shortened it. It stops just above the knee. Okay, and we'll kind of give you a look at that when I show you the shell of the suit. It's a better design and I think it offers a little more comfort. When I had it on, I would have to say I really preferred the on-off feel it gave as well as the comfort it had while it was on. They've also shortened the sleeves a little bit, okay? So this ends a little bit above the actual end of the sleeve. And I think that in itself was a good call as well. Moving on to the shell of the suit. Like we spoke about before, this leather is special. This isn't just your run-of-the-mill top grain cowhide. I've got a couple of racing replicas. I've crashed in them. Their abrasion resistance is absolutely amazing. I actually had a guy that we did some racing with in 2011, and he had crashed in his race replica, same as the one I had. He had crashed in this thing, God, it was like 10 or 15 times, okay? I don't even think he'd had it repaired. This thing was like a battle tank. The leather is without a doubt higher end as it should be, more protective. The back of the suit, Comfort collar, okay. Definitely a measure of stretchability here. Got kind of a mesh area here. It's a hot spot, helps to keep you cool. We've got an access port here if this thing is going to be upgraded to the Tech Air. The perforation on the top of the race hump works in concert with the removable race hump 
to allow the ventilation that that provides. We've got reflectives here. This is new for the racing replica for sure. Imagine some racing under lights and things are going to look absolutely brilliant. This is perforated and there are some reflectives built into that patch right there. Alpine Star logo, right? Stitched on here. Reflectives down both sides. Large stretch panels done in leather. And these are unique to the airbag suit and they're new. They come all the way up from the collar, all the way down, they wrap around to the front of the suit, continue all the way down to the waist and, and kind of meet the stretch panel for the waist right here. Not only do you have those, but completely surrounding the shoulder protector, the outer shoulder slider, you have a stretch panel. These are there for a few different reasons. Reason one is it allows the suit to move even better on your body. Reason two is if the suit's airbag equipped and this airbag goes off, it's all internal to the suit and it, what it does is it, is it expands out and those stretch panels need to be there to allow the airbag to inflate. Staying with the back of the suit, large stretch panel here at the waist, Alpine Star logo screen printed. I'd like to point out each one of these leather stretch panels is fully perforated for cooling. Localized perforation here on the back. The seat of the suit, double layer of that high grade cowhide. Tailbone protector is stitched in from the inside. We'll show you that. Some more reflectives here. Huge panels of leather are used in these impact areas to provide the best possible protection. Kevlar base stretch all through the crotch, all down the back of the legs. Alpine Stars on this racing replica suit is using a leather stretch panel, huge leather stretch panels all down the calf. They come all the way up into the knee. This is unique to their suits. Most other suits, almost every other suit on the market is using the stretch Kevlar here. That is okay, but there is no question the stretch leather panels are more protective. There's no doubt about it. The leather always does better on the ground than the Kevlar does. Composite knee protector, here is the outer knee slider. This gray portion you see here is rather grippy. It helps you interact with the motorcycle. You use a little bit less energy to hold on, helps you ride better. Knee sliders included, some perforation here at the front of the suit. Open this up a little bit and you're going to note here all in the shin area, okay, we have a spacer fabric that they're using. That maintains a pocket of air between the suit and your body works to keep you cool and comfortable. We've got a large tacky strip here. The termination of the leg, it keeps the leg of the suit in place so it does not ride up on you. Once you get your boots on, you get all done up, it holds it in place nicely, which is what you want. Locking zippers, something I noticed they did differently this year, is especially in the leg because remember, we don't have a liner running all the way down to the ankle, right? They have now a lining stitched on the inside covering the stretch panel. Come around to the side of the suit. We have more reflectives here. Localized perforation. Huge panel of leather here in the forearm backed up with the elbow and forearm slider. Some vents built into that. That big panel of leather is real durable on the ground. Very protective. This little spot here this will be used if you install the airbag. There will be some indicator lights to let you know if it's in a state of ready, state of charge, all those things. There will be some LED lights that will go there. Locking zipper here in the cuff of the sleeve. Localized perforation. Roll this up. I can show you right now where the actual liner stops. It stops about two inches short of the end of the sleeve. And they have, it's kind of, God, it's like a suede material, very soft, very comfortable, going to feel great against the skin. And what they've done this year is they carry this all the way down to the end of the sleeve, the stretch Kevlar. Front of the suit. Tons of perf here on the front of the suit. You can see they've kind of perforated this in a pattern. You see that from the pictures we have online. Looks cool. Alpine Stars logo stitched over. TPR Alpine Star logo. Velcro that over when you've got the zipper pull up. Alpine Star screen printed here on the collar. 
the stretch fabric runs all the way in the underarm area. Remember, all the stretch fabric is protective, abrasion and tear resistant, and it flows air freely so for maximum cooling. More reflectives down the torso. Mirror image, of course, on the right side. We've already covered the knee in depth. All in all, what do I think? There is definitely no better one-piece race suit available today. No better, period. I say that with full confidence. I say that having used these suits and crashed in these suits and seen how well these suits have held up. Okay, You cannot buy a better suit today, in my opinion, than the Alpine Stars Racing Replica. And like I said, that comes from a perspective of use both on the motorcycle and sliding on the ground. One of the things a high-end suit like this can do for you, we touched on this at the beginning, is all those special stretch panels in the suit, they allow the thing to move on your body very efficiently, which results in you using less effort to compensate for the fact that you're wearing a heavy protective garment like this. The less energy you use compensating, the more you have available for riding, it's going to make your day more enjoyable, maybe even allow you to ride a little faster. I'm amped up about this. I can't wait to get my hands on that airbag system. I want to do a demo for you all and give you a good inside outlook for that. We are patiently waiting for that. I'm Brian Van. It's the 2012 model of the Alpine Stars Racing Replica One Piece Leather Suit.